In 2008, we started working with uh, Hope for Youth programs. Uh, we've uh, worked with a lot of children and youth from uh, homes as well as low-income families and uh, 15 to 20 students on a regular basis, all university students and poly students, actually volunteered every week on a Saturday from 1 to 3 to actually give free mentoring and tutoring for these uh, young students. We're very proud of them. Most of them have been able to continue in school, improve in their grades, and receive bursary awards from us as well. In fact, uh, yesterday I happened to run into one of our dear uh, bursary award recipients, Azri, and uh, he told me that this year he's made it into ITE, he's already started, and I was just proud to see how he had progressed and uh, what he, his vision to, to really grow and to educate himself and to do well for himself and his family. Hi, my name is Azuri Mansamari. I get to know Hope in 2016. I live with my, bro my brother, my sister-in-law and my three niece. My father lives in Malaysia. He couldn't find a job in Singapore. I'm the youngest of six siblings. My mother passed on when I was in when I was in nine years old and when I was in primary three. My uncles and my aunties and my brother that care of me. When my sister and my, my sister-in-law and my brother, my brother working, I took care of my three nurses. They are eight years old, five years old and three years old. We let to know that they just got a free tuition here and then, then we can if we got any homework or what, then we just go here and learn also from the the tutors. I think I first time came here for my homework when they teach me maths and the methods for the maths. Then I starting to improve a lot. Then I from from my math from D grade to C grade. I would say for Andre, I really do look up to him. Really, like he's someone who wants to push more, drive more. But yet, you no, know, like I said, he does need help. But that does not mean that he will stop. You know, he will go as far as he can. And that's something that I do admire is his ambition to really push forward. You know? And we can give the necessary, the necessary tool to every student. But whether the student will keep going is a different question. There's actually a lot to say about Azri. But one thing for a fact is actually you know, his, his love for you know, his family. You know? Definitely he put his family at his top priority. You know? After hearing that you know, he worked as well, he's going to school, you know, supporting his family. It's just like, wow. Like, it's just something that you don't think as a minor, but yet it's the things that he does. And this, uh, this action really moved me a lot. Actually, in, in, in the early days, uh, it was just him. But as his, his niece uh, became of like primary school age, then he, he started bringing her along as well. And he's very, uh, he, he's, he's very protective of, of, of her. He's definitely someone who, who doesn't give up, who, who, who keeps trying. Uh, I, think, I think he's definitely someone who, uh, over the years, has opened up more. Azri, uh, very proud of you and how you've grown over the years. Very proud of you for being someone who really takes care of your, of your nieces. Uh, uh, keep working hard uh, in school. Uh, your, your efforts will pay off. I, I feel thankful and grateful for them because they, <laughs> they teach me a lot. If like, don't have the, the, hope, the hope thing, we don't know what to do so because they have us a lot. I feel like the tutors, like my friend, like, like part of the family also. <laughs>